In the last two videos, I covered three different ways to create a mandala coloring book. I covered mandala design in Photoshop, free websites like mandala creator in iamtoolbox.com, and also how to make unique designs with mixing designs you downloaded from Creative Fabrica. There are still tens if it not hundreds of other ways to create a mandala design. So I decided to share three different ways to make your own mandala design in Illustrator. Keep in mind, you don't need a tablet or digital pen to create these designs. And I will also only use a mouse in this video. So if you are ready, open your Illustrator and follow along to create beautiful mandala designs for your coloring book, cover designs, or just as a hobby. If you haven't been here before, my name is Anna and I'm here to help you create high quality, low content KDP books in the simplest way. Before we start, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. Before we start, I want to first show you how good Mandela Coloring Books are doing on the Amazon KDP market. Let's search for a Mandela Coloring Book on Amazon. Let's go with this one. So if you scroll down, you can see based on Helium 10 extension, this book had around 4,800 sales in the last 30 days. Let's also take a look at royalty. So the price is 9.99, and the number of pages is 256. If you watched my previous videos, you would know this is my go-to website for calculating the royalty. You can find the link down below. Just enter the information and you can see the royalty is $2.07. If you multiply the number of sales by royalty, you can see this book makes around $10,000 per month. That being said, always remember a portion of your income will go for ads and promotions, especially for high competition niche like Mandela Current Book. Okay, let's get to the second part and actually create some Mandela designs. Let's first create our work area. I tend to work on a square work area. So if I'm going to create a mandala design for my 8.5 by 11 inch coloring book, I will create a 8 by 8 file. Now go to the line tool and then from the top toolbox, change the stroke to 0.5. If you don't have this toolbar, go to window and check off the control option. Now to draw a line, click on top and while you are pressing shift, draw a line to the bottom of the page. Now go to properties and make sure your line is aligned vertically and horizontally. Now right click on your line, go to transform, choose rotate and on pop-up page enter 90 degrees and hit copy to make another line to make a cross. Now we have to do a little math before going forward. So I'm going to create a mandala design with 12 slides. So if I divide 360 degrees by 12, you can see each slice should be 30 degrees. So let's go back to Illustrator. Now go to layers and click on this little circle to select all layers. Now go to effects, go to distort and transform and choose transform. Now, as we calculated earlier, the rotation should be 30 degrees. And since we are going to have 12 slides, the number of copies will be 11, since we already have one copy in our page. Now, while you still have all of your layers selected, go to Effect again, go to Distort and Transform, and choose Transform. This time, check off the Reflect X, and the number of copies should be 1, and then hit OK. Now, if I draw anything, it will be repeated 11 times and it will be reflected on the X axis. Now I want to give you some tips to create a smooth lines and professional looking designs. First of all, it's always better to zoom in when you draw lines and always try to draw from center of the page and layer by layer on top of each other. Always keep in mind if you're creating this design for a coloring book, make sure they're small enough or even big enough to look good when it's colored by a pencil. Last thing is to get better results, 
I always use blob brush tool instead of regular brush tool. The shortcut is Shift and B. Or you can double click on the tool and you will get a small pop-up window like this. Now you can change a couple of things here. The most important thing is fidelity. I always leave it on a smooth on the very right hand. You can also change the angle and roundness to make different lines. Okay, this was the first way to create your design. Let's move on to the second method. First, I need a polar grid tool. To find this tool, you need to right click on the line tool and choose the last option, the one that looks like a circle. Now click on the page and you will get a small pop-up page like this. Here, change the concentric divider to zero and change the radial divider to the number of slices you want to have. For our example, I'm going to go with 12. Now hit OK. Now change the selection tool here and select your grid and make sure the grid is aligned on the center. And let me also make it a bit bigger. OK, for the next step, click on the direct selection tool, click somewhere outside of the page and draw a rectangle to cover the half of the circle like this. You will see the half of the circle will be selected. Now hit delete or backspace key on your keyboard to delete this part. Now to remove the rest, I want to first separate the first line of the slice from other slices. So first select the first line with direct selection tool and then go to add anchor point and place it anchor point right on the line. Now click on the direct selection tool again and keep deleting the remaining lines until the only thing remaining is just one slice. Now from top menu, go to window and make sure to check off the symbols. Your symbol panel should look like this. Now drag and drop your slice to the symbol panel. You should get a pop-up box like this. Change the export type to graphic and let's also change the name to a slice 1. Now we want to create a circle with our symbol. So select your slice and right click on it and choose transform and then click on reflect. Choose vertical and make a copy. Now snap the new copy to the left like this and then select both and go to transform, click on reflect and this time choose horizontal and make a copy. Move the new slices to the bottom like this. Once again select all four, go to transfer and this time click on rotate. Okay so we have 12 slices in total so every slice is 30 degrees. And we want to skip two slices to place the next two beside them. So in total, we want to rotate them 60 degrees. So 30 times 2, 60 degrees. If you think this is a bit confusing, just rotate them 90 degrees and then you can adjust them manually. So now that we have all of our slices, it's time to draw our design. So double click on the first slice and you should get a pop-up box like this that says you're making changes to this symbol. Just hit OK and make sure you check off this option too. And a green line should appear on top of the page that means now you're editing your symbol and everything you're drawing on this one will be repeated on all the other 11 slices too. Don't worry if you got the lines out of the slice because you can delete them afterwards.
Okay, let's move on to the last method. Once again, we need a polar grid, but this time we are going to use it only for our guidance. So I have my own collection of patterns that I made throughout the years, and this is one of them that I'm working on it. How I use them is I can either use them in the last two methods, or I can place them layer by layer to create a whole design. Let me explain what I mean. Let's take one of these patterns and paste it in our work areas. Okay, with the help of our guide, let's place this in the first layer. When I'm happy with the place and the size, I'm gonna make copies of it to cover the whole first layer and I will repeat this for every other layers. As a tip, you can change the size of the circles to make a guide for yourself when making copies. For example, as a guide, I will place a circle on top of my pattern. So when I made a copy, I know the top section should touch this line. Okay, let me add some more layers and I will come back. Okay, that was three simple methods to create your own mandala designs in Illustrator. Remember, mandalas can be used for many different things, including mandala coloring books, for a cover of a notebook, or even for Amazon merch like t-shirt or mugs, or even just for your hobby and pastime. So take your time and practice, and I promise if you create one mandala per day, which will not take more than 20 minutes, you will get better every day and your designs will also improve. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Let me know in comments if you have any questions and please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all on the next video. Bye-bye.